Prigazin goes to Moscow. Aviation bombs Voronezh, fights around it. Map and timeline of military action on the second day of the rebellion. The main action is unfolding along the M4, along which the units and armored vehicles of the Wagner Group are moving towards the capital. The Kremlin seems to seriously fear for its security. The BBC and Reuters sources claim that the Wagnerians have captured all the key military facilities in the city, by analogy with Rostov Anand. British intelligence also confirms this. Civilian planes have begun circling the Voronezh region. There are fights in Voronezh region. Ka-52 helicopter struck an oil depot. It started a fire. It is not known to whom the pilot was subordinated. Burned and blown up cars are standing on the highway. Residents of the region are sending videos that show shooting and explosions. One of the videos shows a falling plane allegedly a military IL-18 shot down by the Wagnerites. A video of the alleged strike on the Wagner convoy has appeared online. It is not reported where it was filmed. Voronezh Oblast Governor Vladimir Gyuzov called all this. Operational military activities. In the Lipetsk region, north of Voronezh, in the direction of the movement of PMC units, residents were advised not to leave their homes. According to Yandex maps, the M4 highway connecting rostov on Voronezh, and Moscow is blocked in at least six places. The military took under control of bridges across the Oka in the Moscow region, near Serpukov. Yevgeny Prigazin in another audio message said that his PMC is going to Moscow and accused the Russian military of shelling civilians. When someone goes to Moscow, they do not save ammunition. 